So I'd like to talk about where we are uh, sort of in, in development with Never Ending Nightmares and where we're going. So uh, firstly, our alpha build 0 0.5, which we pushed out, I don't know, I guess when you watch this, probably last week. Um, I don't know, 24th, 23rd? 24th probably um so june 24th we released our 0 0.5 alpha build uh which has um the an entire playthrough uh to one of the endings um so that's kind of a, a big milestone for us uh unfortunately we pushed uh a um a uh build where the the final level is not very polished um uh we're gonna maybe i don't know dan wants to do an update to fix some some technical bugs and um you know i have um and, and the the art has actually come a long way even though you know it, it hasn't been that long for that final level so i mean of course that'll get in in the, the newer builds um but, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're basically waiting to call it beta and let the beta backers in until, um, until we get, uh, some, some of Eduardo's time to get the, the sound effects in, in the, uh, final level because they're, um, unfortunately rather absent. Uh, so hopefully he'll have some time in, in early July, and, and so we're probably going to do the switch from alpha to beta um, mid-July. Mid um, and so it's not going to be a true um, a true uh, beta, I mean, in that, you know, not all of our content is there, but I think, you know, the content we have will be, you know, beta quality, um, uh, or at least late alpha quality, uh, so, I mean, that's gonna be a, a big milestone for us, and also, it'll be nice to get some sort of fresh, uh, playthrough data from people who have not, um, played through the earlier builds, um, so that's exciting and uh, scary um, <laughs> at the same time. Uh, then uh, basically we have uh, three um, nightmares left to do and um, it's going to be a real challenge to get them done. There, there's a lot of cool and new elements we want to get in. Um, but that will probably, I mean, we're shooting for sort of a month each um, so, starting at, like, I don't know, last week or something, um, uh, where, uh, I don't know, we're, we're probably gonna have to do it closer to three weeks each, and, I don't know, starting now, although we've already made some progress on the, uh, the next, uh, nightmare, but, I mean, uh, it's, it's gonna be a crunch, it's gonna be a challenge to get them all in, and, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's it's going to be weird, uh, you know, rolling them out because, uh, you know, we may roll them out before their beta quality. Uh, so the beta backers uh, might not get, uh, you know, the full experience. And then, you know, si since we're on open platforms, we're, we're probably going to... Um, I don't know. I kind of almost see it as, as a, a soft or rolling launch. Um, where probably like two weeks before ship will release the game to backers and uh also like like all backers i mean this is just my plan uh and you know it may change it may be one week it may be zero days i mean depends on how how quick we can you know get everything in and and test it and you know presentable uh because we don't want people to have you know bad experience a bad first experience with the game but we're we're shooting for like the the middle of september to be essentially done except for maybe some bugs uh and then we can release uh it to backers and let's players and reviewers and then release maybe like uh two weeks later like very end of september um and and hopefully by getting uh a lot of people playing the the build uh you know we can uh find find some bugs and and catch some uh issues before it goes wide to, um, to everyone, um, you know, on, on the, the stores. Um, 
which uh, I guess will be a little complicated on the uh, Ouya since I, I'm pr I'll probably take the take it off the um, uh, Slackerbacker page. I don't know. Someone said Slackerbacker is derogatory. I don't know. I mean. I don't know, I thought it was kind of a clever way, but I don't think less of slacker backers I, uh, or backers who did not fund during the original duration of the, the Kickstarter. I mean, we're, we're happy to have any sort of backer in any sort of form. Uh, it's really uh, helpful to us and, and uh, we've made a significant uh, amount of revenue to, to, you know, put back to the game from people who've, who've backed after the duration of the Kickstarter. I don't know. A friend of mine said you can do maybe like 10% of your, your Kickstarter uh, budget. Um, which uh, we probably won't uh, do quite that much, but um, I mean, still, uh, you know, um, if we make like 5k, that, that's definitely helpful um, towards the quality of the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, so I guess it's going to be a weird sort of soft launch on, on Ouya, but uh, on, on Steam at least, I guess... I'm probably going to stop the, the pre-sales um, in like early September, maybe even earlier, um, uh, maybe mid-August or something, and then uh, just try and get as much uh, people on, on launch day, because I think uh, for, for Steam that's really important for, you know, how much banner space you get, and you know, getting in that sort of top salary, so I'm, you know, trying to sort of game the system by saying, you know, this is our release date, bam, buy it now. Uh, which is going to be a tricky sort of challenge, because at uh, PAX, um, I'm going to have to say, like, hey, um, you know, don't buy the game uh, now, um, you know, because... Because, you know, it's something like PAX, you want to essentially, you have your captive audience, you want to sell them on the game that second. So it's it's kind of nice, you know, if I could sell them on the game. Uh, but the problem is, I, I think, uh, is, you know, PAX is early September or whatever, is that, you know, uh, all the sort of people, you know, potentially we could get a lot of eyes on the game, and, and uh, if we, you know, if they... I'll buy it then, you know, potentially that could hurt us on the, the Steam sort of, you know, making a big event. And, I mean, probably we will do a 10% discount on Steam when we launch, which kind of sucks. Um, uh, for Kickstarter backers who just paid 15 um, because, I mean, I guess they could have waited and gotten it for... Less, but that's why we're trying to give the build a, a couple weeks early. Uh, hopefully that'll make up for it. You know, fingers crossed. Uh, but I mean, it, it's tough, and I, 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 I don't know. Maybe all of these decisions are really bad. Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, learning what I've learned and talking to other developers, I hopefully feel like this is this is a way to go. And. Um, kind of maybe will pay off fingers and toes crossed so uh yeah so i don't know that's what i'm thinking now and um if you have any suggestions i'm open to them but i mean uh to some extent i've given it a, a fair bit of thought and and i am feeling you know the best about this uh solution uh rather than, um, than, um, every other option I've considered. So, anyway, thanks for watching.